Welcome back camping enthusiasts. In this video, we're going to be checking out the best portable bike pumps that you can buy today. Although compared to your track pump at home, even the very best mini pump will be a compromise. Too small and it'll take ages to inflate a tire, too big and it'll be, well, big and heavy. Our team of camping experts have spent hours researching and testing portable bike pumps. These are listed in order based on performance, quality, and price, and there is an option for every type of camper. So, if you're looking for the best portable bike pumps, we'll have the product for you in this list. We've included links in the description for each product mentioned, so make sure you check those out to see which are in your budget range. Now let's get on with the video. The fifth product on our list is the Topiak Pocket Rocket. The quality of construction and premium feel are excellent. You can tell a lot of thought has gone into the details, such as the forefinger and thumb-shaped handle ends, the secure turn and click locking mechanism to stop it accidentally coming open when mounted on the bracket, and the fact that there are no sharp edges anywhere on the pump. To use it, simply push the head of the pump over your valve, then lift the locking mechanism, which creates a secure grip on the valve, and get pumping. The pump has a one-way action, so only adds air when you push it in. You can tuck your forefinger into the shaped end of the pump head for a steady and smooth pumping action. I found it took approximately 150 strokes, about 3 minutes worth, to get a 28mm tire to the 70 PES I needed to get me home. It starts getting harder to pump after this point, so you will probably need a breather in a few more minutes if you want to get to 100 PSI or more. Once at the required hardness, it's then a simple matter of flipping the locking mechanism down and pulling the head of the pump off to release it. Topi has made sure the pocket rocket will not rattle around while mounted on the bike by enabling the handle to be turned and securely clicked closed so that it won't create any annoying noises or accidentally extend itself if you hit any bumps in the road. The pocket rocket is great value for money. I was genuinely surprised at the cost, I thought it was going to be significantly more. Overall, I really liked this pump. It is light, ergonomic, and performs brilliantly with a quality construction, and in use it feels more premium than its price would suggest. In at number 4 is the SKS Airboy XL Mini Pump. The SKS Airboy XL Mini Pump is excellent quality, can handle up to 73 PSI, and fits easily into a pack or jersey pocket. Its efficient action makes it ideal for high volume, low pressure gravel and mountain bike tires, and for the price it's a strong choice. The quality and finish of the Airboy XL is impressive. The body has a smooth anodized finish, the plastic end caps feel sturdy, and the action is smooth even after prolonged use. The size and shape is comfortable too, while the rubber pad on the end adds welcome cushion while pumping. The XL comes set for Presta valves, but can be changed to Scrater by simply unscrewing the head and flipping an insert over. Faced with a 2.3-inch wide, specialized Butcher 29er, it took 300 strokes, about 3 minutes, to pump the tire from flat to 21 PSI. That's more than acceptable in my books. During this test, the pump didn't heat up much, and while the last 50 strokes or so were noticeably harder, it was never unreasonable. The Topiak Pocket Rocket is cheaper, but not as clever. The SKS Airboy XL is a well-built and well-designed mini-pump which performs above expectations. It is well-priced and easily portable. It's an ideal trailside pump for gravel and mountain bikes. The third product on our list is the Topiak Road Morph G mini-pump. I found it very hard to find something to mark the Topiak Morph down on. The build quality was great. The head was secure thanks to the clip-on. The sprung end of the shaft meant you lower the risk of damaging the valve. The action was smoother than the more premium Silka, but not loose like the Zephyl options. Once you reach the limits of the pump, you can flip the switch to high-pressure mode and give yourself even more air. The ergonomics were spot-on too. The only real downside is that it's silver, which looks less cool than the black options in my opinion, and there is less protection for your frame than that on offer from others. Remember that we have the links in the description for all the products mentioned on this list, so don't forget to check them out. In at number 2 on the list is the LEZYNAID Road Drive Bicycle Tire Hand Pump. Coming in at 297mm long, the Lezin Road Drive isn't really a mini pump, it's hard to be truly mini when you're a four-length. 
we think it's a bit long for rear pocket stowage, you might want to try the shorter 216mm medium length road drive for that, but it does come with that dedicated and diminutive alloy bracket that fits under a bottle cage. The pumping action is easy on the arm, but things can get noticeably sticky at about 150 strokes when attempting to rejuvenate a 700 by 23 tube to 80 PSI. But if you have the gumption to push on through another 50 strokes you'll reach a more rideable 100 PSI. It can be an effort and by Jiminy, does the pump get warm at the the valve end? A mini pump that actually works, who'd have thought it? Quality all-metal construction means no clackety-clack and a mini pump that actually manages to get air into a tube, rather than wheezing like an asthmatic ant, like most of the competition. The Lezine Road Drive Alloy is a pump we've happily had on our bike for several months now. We've even forgotten where the frame fit pump is. The best portable bike pump is the Silka Pocket Impero. The Silka Pocket Impero is a high-quality, well-crafted mini pump. It is essentially a shorter version of the Silka Impero Ultimate. The Pocket Impero uses the same pump head, leather cup washer, and 19mm piston of its big brother. The Pocket Impero is designed to work well for both pressure and volume applications. Due to this design, it falls short of task-specific pumps like Lezine's Road Drive and pumping performance for specific applications. Pumping performance with the Pocket Impero was reasonable. The Pocket Impero will bring a road tire up over 90 PSI, it just takes a long time to get there. We do like the feel of the pump during inflation. It is smooth with a minimal increase in stroke effort up to around 90 PSI. The Pocket Impero is stylish, beautiful mini pump. It is designed to perform well for both pressure and volume applications. Thanks for watching, that's all for this video. If you like this video and it helped you out in any way, please give us a like and hit that subscribe button. See you guys in the next video.